Alright guys, hey, what's up? This is a new series. It's Twilight Princess HD, and I'm going to open it on camera because I like opening things, and it's a great feeling to open things. So let's, let's open the game. Struggle. The struggle. Urgh. Come on. Everybody loves this feeling, though. It's like the, the feeling of like opening a new game. It's just... That's the best. Oh, look at that. Mm, my favorite feeling. It's just, yes. Take the saran wrap off of the game. Oh, it's the best. Mmm. Best thing. Best thing is taking off of the taking the thing off of the thing. Alright, now we're gonna open up the game. Pop it in the Wii U. And get to playing. That's, that's your mini unboxing video for the day. <laughs> Wait, let, let's see what else is in the box, shall we? <laughs> Before we start playing. It's how to get to the manual. That's it. I don't even care. <laughs> let's go. Twilight Princess HD. Let us begin. Oh, please don't tell me there's a patch. Yes, there's not a patch. I thought there was going to be a patch. And I was like, oh, jeez. And I have to, like turn off the recording and come back. <laughs> nope, there's not a patch. I got this with the full uh, ami amiibo edition, so I have Wolf Link here in case we ever need to go, like, I think this one refills your hearts or something? Or maybe it, maybe it, like, takes you to a dungeon, I don't know. We'll find out, like, later in the game. But anyway. Uh, this is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. A lot of people didn't like this game, <laughs> for some reason. We're gonna watch the opening cutscene here. I think this is the Bridge of Elden, or something along that line. But yeah, a lot of people didn't like this game, and I never really, like, got to play it. Like, I, I had a Wii and I loved it. It was a great console. But it made this game look like garbage. Like, honestly. Like, you try and go back and play the Twilight Princess, and it's like, the lighting is just all wrong. They... I'm really glad they redid this, because... And 90% of the work was just sharpening up the textures and <laughs> improving the lighting engine. Because that was what was wrong with most Wii games at the time was their lighting wasn't very good and their tech and the textures were very blurry. But I didn't mind. Some games worked with it very well and some games did not. Twilight Princess was one of those games that did not work with it very well. Like I never got to play much of Twilight Princess, but I did. You know, I did play a little bit on a, on my cousin's Wii U actually. Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess HD. Press start. Start has been pressed. Uh, we're playing with the gamepad. What are we gonna name our character? What do you guys think? Mm. Let's name it Glacier. Let's go with that. I usually name it like Michael or Glacier or something. I don't. I don't want to do like some silly name. As much fun as that would be. Let's see here. Ah, oh, jeez. Can I touch the type, please? That yes, I can. Hey, C. I E. Well, sir, that's not right. The A didn't type. Ugh. Typing. G. Come on. Hello. Oh, this would be. I feel like the D pad's faster. A. C. I. And enter a horse. Oh, we get to name Apona? Hmm. We gotta name Apona something. I think we might just leave Apona as Apona. I mean, we could do like something funny, like, oh, I washed my, I washed my hair, or I never <laughs> come here, I never come here, or something. But I think we might just leave it as Apona because I don't know. I I don't know. Apona just feels like the right horse name, you know. Start the game in normal mode because I'm not good at games. <laughs> Alright, welcome, 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 for real this time, to Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I've never played this. I've played a couple of other Zelda games. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness because dusk, fa dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. Oops. 
The only time we can feel the lingering of spirits who have left our world. Oh, like the hero's sage? That's why loneliness is always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Glacier. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Gosh, Link looks good in this game. Look at that face. Look at it. Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor, but would you go in my stead? I mean, if you insist. This game looks really good. <laughs> you have never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there's a great castle, and around it is Castle Town, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. I'm surprised I haven't seen anybody else playing this game, honestly. It's getting late. We should head back to the village. I'll talk to the mayor about this. I'm I'm really surprised that we haven't seen I haven't seen anybody else play this game like as a series because like it's a Zelda game you know it would it I feel like it you know it's explorative it lends well to recording I suppose you know and that it just kind of surprises me that like there's not a lot of Zelda games that I've seen let's play it other than like the Game Grumps playing Legend of Zelda which doesn't really count because Game Grumps play everything like. Like, there's not a lot of Legend of Zelda, and I haven't seen a lot of, like, Metroid or Super Metroid or anything like that. You know, not much Metroidvania-style stuff. Hang on, I'm fixing my pop filter because it's bothering me right now. Eh, there we go. Like, the only other... The only people I've seen play uh, any of the Metroid games is the Super Mario Bros. They're playing Metroid Fusion right now, and they played, uh... They played Super Metroid back in the day. Back when it was still... They still had Gurg. Let's focus on this wonderful cutscene. This is great. This looks so good. Like, after, like, what I remember the original Twilight Princess to look like, this just looks great. Like, I, I'm i just blown away sometimes by how good games on the Wii U look. <laughs> did my... Did my gamepad just die? I think my gamepad just died. Hang on, let me plug it in. <clears throat> I'm not used to having my gamepad plugged in. Usually, I just leave it on the charger cradle. Hey, Glacier! Hey! You there? I mean, yeah, if you insist. What do you want? Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listen to me lately. Alright, I'll help you herd the goats. I guess so. Come down out of my neat little tree house here. Hey, where's Epona? Where is Epona? She went that way. <laughs> Apparently. We're about to find out where Epona went. No, we're not. We're about to start playing. Alright. Well, this is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I, I like it already. I don't know what that is. Let's pick up this other rock here. Yeah, and Rupee. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of I've heard that there's a lot of rupees in this game. My house, yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Ugh, this is weird playing a Zelda game with a gamepad. Like I've never played a Zelda game with a gamepad other than Wind Waker HD, but that's different because it's Wind Waker HD. Anyway, come on now, hurry up, hurry on up, and bring Apona with you. Okay, well we gotta go the way Apona went and this way. We'll roll around, rolling around at the speed of sound, singing the wrong stuff for this game. <laughs> well, we got a mini map down here on the gamepad. I really wish there was a way for me to like show you the gamepad screen. But there's not really any way I can think of other than like finding a camera and pointing it at my crotch. Because <laughs> that's where I'm holding the game. But anyway. <clears throat> Actually, I'm surprised that like nobody's come up with a way to just capture the gamepad screen as well. Maybe you could use, like, the little port on the bottom here. Like, see, there's a little port down there that I don't know what it does. I think it's for the, like, when you set it down on the charger and whatnot. But 
I'm surprised nobody's figured out how to do that. I, I feel like Nintendo themselves do that, actually. Like, I remember seeing there was, like, a huge cord coming out of the bottom of their gamepad when they were doing, like, uh, when they were previewing this game for Nintendo Minute off the top of my head, you know? Oh, the gamepad. We don't even need the mini-map on the gamepad screen. It's off to the left corner there. Oh jeez, my my face cam right now is right in the middle, right on top of the health. Let me fix that, actually. Uh, this one. Let's... Hmm... I don't know, where should I be? Where should I be? Am I gonna be over here? Yeah, you guys don't need to see the buttons. That's no big deal. Actually, my ruby counter's not dreadfully important. Let's just, yeah, let's, let's be there. That's good. Okay. All right, there's there's a Pona over there. So we found Pona. Oh, <laughs> this face plant directly into the gate, into the gate. Great job. Look, cutscene. Is it Saria? I mean, that's obviously not Saria, but is that Saria? <laughs> my first thought that looks like Saria. Oh, hi Glacier. I washed the Pona for you. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, no, Link has gotta have like this really manly voice because he's the hero of courage. Thanks, I'm Link. Oh. The Pona works really hard, so I thought she deserved a treat. Oh, ZR does the same thing as A apparently. Oh, but listen, Glacier, could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one Epona likes. Uh, I could try. Uh, how do I do? <laughs> like, that's immediate, my, my immediate response is, how do I do, but... <laughs> um, whoop. I tried to play it for Epona, but I just can't seem to play it the way you can, Glacier. Alright, well, stand in some grass, find a grass to play, I guess. Oh, maybe we can see. Oh, there it is. Uh, uh, uh. There it is. That's cool. It's such a nice melody. The opponent looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back, but don't make her do too much, okay? Na -na -na. I did, like, I, I recently got the uh, files to make, like, to have my Java program, like, my Java stuff, uh, produce notes, and we had to, like, make a simple song for a piece of homework, and the teacher to demonstrate the class actually played the, like, opponent's song through the computer. It was pretty cool. And, like, I, I personally just did a different song. Like, I think I did, uh... What did I do, actually? Oh, I did the chords to, uh... Don't Look Back in Anger by Oasis, I think. What happens if I hit A while on a poker looking at this thing? Yes, back up the horse. Beepity beep. Dismount. Okay, Pona, what's up? I still can't do anything with that dummy. The trading dummy is probably useful when you get the sword. Alright, where are we going here? Oh, there's some crud in my nose that wasn't there before. That's great. Should have blown my nose between takes. Oh, are we gonna enter Hyrule Field? Is this Hyrule Field? No, this is a village. Ordon Village. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, such lovely music. I should plug in my headphones to the TV so I can actually hear what's going on. I'm gonna do that. There we go, now I should be able to hear. I don't, actually. Uh, how strange. It doesn't seem to do. I'll just turn up the volume. Yeah, it's definitely not in the headphones, whatever. I'll work on that between episodes or something. <laughs> anyway. 
sitting here wasting time. Whoa, hey! Do -do 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 Ride Epona. All right, let's let's leave Epona at the gate here and go talk to everyone, shall we? Okay, that's the guy. I think from the earlier part of the. Oh, hmm, you going to help? You going to help Fado out or not? He headed up to the ranch already. You better move along and take Epona with you. What's this sign say? Mayor Bo's house. A Coco. What's up, Coco? You're you're mine now, Coco. You're part of me. Bye, Coco. Not ah, great timing, Glacier. Really? There was something I forgot to tell you. My son Colin is making a fishing rod so the two of you can play together. You should finish it today, so you can come get a the house tomorrow. Okay. Oh, hi, Glacier. I'm making you a fishing rod, you know. All I have to let, all I have left to do is paint it, so you get ready for fishing. I do know that you can distract this Ganon with the fishing rod, so it's actually pretty useful. Good evening. This is a lovely sunset, is it not? It's kind of you to spend time with my husband, you know. It gives me time for myself. Oh, you have to go to the you have to go put the livestock to bed now. I really like that like Link is a ranch hand in this game. He's not just like some random kid. He actually, you know, kind of has a life here in Orden Village. Kind of gives meaning to the whole like becoming the hero. You know, most of the time it's like Link has very little, you know, life outside of, outside of being the hero. You know, like for example, Wind Waker Link. It's just like, oh, you live on an island and you're coming of age, so you get to wear the hero's garb. And that's about it, you know. But like, this Link just to me immediately seems like he just has more, you know, more of a life here in Orden Village, and he's really, you know, kind of gets the hero business kind of thrust upon him. Just off the off the cuff, you know, it seems like that to me. But anyway, we've talked to everyone, so let's go do the objective. Uh, do, what do we have to do? We have to do something with Epona. Oh, I just landed on that fence. Let's pick a pumpkin. Pick a pumpkin. Pick a pumpkin. Pumpkin pit. Throw that pumpkin. Bye-bye, pumpkin. Ooh, five rupees! You got five rupees! Alright. Can I pick these pumpkins, too? Are they gonna give me five rupees? Nope, just the one. Pumpkins. 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 Jeez, my nose is starting to clog. That's really annoying, actually. Like, I can, I can already hear it in my voice. It's like, come on, dude, I just got done being sick. But, yeah. Anyway, I was saying, like... It's already kind of shaping up to be a game I'm, I'm sure I'll like. You know, and it's a Zelda game. You can't not enjoy a Legend of Zelda game. Like, you might go, oh, this isn't as good as the rest of the Legend of Zelda games, but you can't not enjoy one. Like, even Spirit Tracks, the weakest game in the series, is still a fun game. You have a great time playing it. I mean, it's a little cheesy sometimes. You kind of go, why am I doing a train? This is silly. But, you know, it's still fun. It's still Legend of Zelda. There's no... I have yet to play any Legend of Zelda games that are like, oh, this isn't any fun, this isn't what it was all over. You know, and mainly what people complain about when it comes to Legend of Zelda is not, you know, oh, this is no fun, but oh, this doesn't feel like a Legend of Zelda game, you know, they, everybody still has fun playing it. Also, we should figure out where these goats need to go before they start hurting them. <laughs> Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Glacier. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how about you and Epona herd into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time, so you think you can do it for me? Yeah, sure, I guess so, if you insist. I remember hearing about, like, much obliged there, bud. Okay, go on and herd these little scamps into the barn for me. Start! Get them all in one big group. All of you get into the barn, please. That's seven out of ten. Yeah, this 
speedrunning in this game is really interesting. Like, I know I talk about speedrunning a lot, you know, despite yeah. my yeah. inability to do so because I'm not good at games, but get in the bar yeah. to go, please. This is a great way to teach you, like, how an opponent works, though. Turn around. There we go. Get, get in the bar. We got one more. We missed one. He's all the way over here. Let's go. Do -do 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 -do. See, like, that's one of the biggest things I enjoy about Legend of Zelda, and, like, most, some games kind of eschew it now, I, I'm probably saying eschew it wrong, but, um, some games kind of eschew it now, it's kind of, you know, you teach by, you teach a game mechanic by doing something. You know, it just kind of, like, it's a thing, you know, Legend of Zelda does it, and so does Metroid, and, you know, I'm lumping together Legend of Zelda and Metroid a lot today, I don't know what the deal is. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you, so you can just sit back and relax, bud. Is tomorrow, like, Link's birthday or something? Oh, but, uh, how about today? Wanna practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud, and I'll get them fences set up. What? <laughs> what are you on about, guy? Whew, sorry that it took so long. Okay, then, you ride all you want. No, I'll get tired of riding. Just jump the gate and head back to the village, okay, bud? Hey up! Jump the fence or something? Is there a way of do? There's probably a way of doing it, but I'm just missing. Oh, there we go. We just gotta be going. Let's go. Let's go, Pona. Let's do the thing. Uh, you gotta be running, though. You can't just, like, consider running. You have to actually be going. Come on. Oh, do you have to come onto it straight on? Like, is that what I'm doing? Now? Let's let's find out. Let's come onto it straight on, and if it works, then I know that I'm doing it. Wrong. Yeah. Let's go. Woo! All right. So we've established that. Jeez, it's already been 20 minutes. Like, that's the big thing about Legend of Zelda. Like, any Legend of Zelda game I play, I just start. I sit down and I start playing, and I'm just. I just get lost in the game, and you just kind of. You lose all sense of time. Those are the best kind of games where you're just kind of like, ooh. You sit down and you start playing and you're like, oh man, I'm having a great time, this is great. And then like, you look down at your watch and it's like three hours later and you're like, oh, it's been three hours. <laughs> you know? To save your progress during your game, press down and then choose save game in the bottom left corner of the collection screen. Okay. Well, actually, that's a pretty good place to call it today. <laughs> Uh, I'm really excited to continue playing this game. I really want to, like, get really into this game. I'm really excited, you know. I've, I've never played a Legend of Zelda game on the channel. And this is, like, my only, only like, my third or fourth Legend of Zelda game, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, because I, I started with Spirit Tracks, and then I played Phantom Hourglass, and then I played Wind Waker, and now I'm playing Twilight Princess HD. So, like... It's kind of interesting. I've went from like really bad to really good very quickly. You know, because Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass, they're great games. They, I had fun playing them, but they are not very good Zelda games. Like, they're still great games and you can have a great time playing them, but they're definitely not the best Zelda, Zelda games. <laughs> they're fun, though. Anyway, hey, wake up, Glacier. It's morning already. Wow, is that, is that all? <laughs> is that all you just, you just needed to say that? Alright, well, we're gonna. We're gonna call it good here. We're gonna call it good in, in Link's, you know, neat little treehouse here. So anyway, uh, tune in next week for more of this, obviously, and more of Skyblock. And maybe more of something else? Oh yeah, Splatoon. Duh. We got, you know, five or six episodes left of Splatoon, and then it'll just be this and Skyblock for a while, I think. Oh, also, streams on Thursday evenings at 5 p.m. Uh, I'm streaming Asagao Academy currently because it's a great game and if you miss those if you like can't tune in during the live live streams or anything there's they always come up on Saturdays so anyway enough of my blither blather thanks for tuning in and uh, I'm really excited to play this game you guys have no idea it's been sitting on my shelf for like three weeks and I'm like I want to play it I want to play it I want to play it then I can finally play it now <laughs> Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and hey, later, man.